Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So I've had my results back, my blood test results back. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into the spreadsheet and look at what the test results tell us. Let's quickly look at the supplements I was on when I had this uh, particular blood test. NMN, 1.5 grams a day. Trans resveratrol, 1.5 grams a day. TMG, trimethylglycine, 2 grams a day. Berberine, 1.5 grams a day. Vitamin D, 5,000 international units a day. Hyaluronic acid, 200 milligrams of high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. And if you are taking HA or hyaluronic acid, it is the high molecular weight type you need to be taking. Uh, and dried parsley. I was taking one tablespoon of that per day. Um, if you watch the testosterone video I did, you'll know that I've reduced that uh, for reasons that I make clear in that video. So let's get straight into it. You'll notice now that um, I'm putting all of the results into a spreadsheet. The last time I did it, I just scanned the report from the clinic and it was easy to go through. That's going to be more problematic as I ramp up the months. So I think a, a spreadsheet is going to be an easier way of, of um, recording it and also being able to access previous data at a moment's uh, at a moment's glance. So you'll notice also that I've highlighted in red if something is either high or low compared to what the recommended reference range is. So you'll see here my total cholesterol uh, is high at 275 and it should be at 200. Uh, the reason that is is because my LDL is high um, and that's because I'm on a low carb high fat diet and that's one of the the side effects, if you like, <clears throat> and I'll save all the vegans the bother of telling me that if I go vegan, I'll be able to drop this one number. Um, I've spoken to my doctor and a couple of other people um, who are well versed in this, and they've said you shouldn't just take one num number in isolation. There's a number of numbers you need to look at if you think that LDL is actually an issue, and we'll, we'll touch on that later on. Um, my triglycerides should be less than 150 and they're 119, which is normal. Um, my total cholesterol to HDL ratio, which should be between three and five, is 4.2, so that's okay. I'm at LDL to HDL cholesterol ratio, should be between 1.5 and 3.5, so that's okay. So all numbers are okay, apart from the standalone LDL, which I'm not particularly bothered about. Blood sugar um, was high, is still high again although it has dropped uh, and it's actually exactly what um, it's on the border of increased risk. So 5.7 and it is 5.7. Um, that said, my average blood glucose level should be less than 120 and it's 117. So it should be between 90 and 120 for excellent control and mine's 117. <clears throat> so not too worried about blood sugar. The other thing as well, my wife was pregnant with our daughter. Um, she had high blood sugar levels, um, pregnancy delayed related diabetes condition. Uh, so she had to test herself every day. I think it was three times a day. Um, so to show my support and for a laugh, I also did it. And every morning when I took my, um, my blood sugar level, it was high. Then we ate breakfast or I ate breakfast at midday. Uh, two hours later, it was normal. Uh, and there is a phenomenon, and I forget the exact name, something to do with the sunrise or dawn phenomenon, where some people's blood sugar is always high in the morning, but levels out throughout the day. Uh, and some people have um, proffered that that may be to do with um, long ago in our past, when people used to wake up, they would need high sugar to get them up and about to go out and hunt for, for food for the day. So although mine is high when I'm, fasting it comes down two hours after i've eaten and stays steady for the rest of the day and my average blood glucose is as far as this reference range is concerned excellent so i'm not particularly worried uh, if you think i should be then let me know in the comments below liver profile so before um you'll see down here these two the uh, globulin and the alba min globulin ratio were low and high respectively and I think you remember the last time that pointed towards some kind of kidney complaint or kidney disease or maybe even liver disease. Um, uh, and that's now 
normal. So they're well within range. So that wasn't a problem. I think that was because I was coming to the end of my creatine um, sell by date. And the scoop that I thought was five milligrams was actually seven and a half. And I was taking the scoop and a bit more. So it may have been that my creatine was up. So when I stopped it, um, and I'm now back to five milligrams a day, probably every other day, uh, it's it's back to normal. So feel free at any time during the video to stop it and look at these numbers in detail. And if you do see something there that either causes you concern or you think should cause me concern, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, my renal numbers, as far as this is concerned, everything is within reference range. So I'm happy with that. Again, feel free to pause the video and, and uh, look at the numbers in detail. Thyroid profile, this number was low. Um, it should be between 60 and 200. It was 42. It's now 88. So I don't know what I've done, but that is well within the reference range now, whereas before it was quite a long way down. Vitamin D, you remember last time it was I was in the insufficient bracket between 20 and 30, I was 25. I've been taking 5,000 international units a day and I've been exposing myself to the sun as um, when I did my bike ride, which is about 40, a 40 minute ride. It's now 61.8 and it should be between 30 and 80. So that's well within what it should be. So I'm very happy with that. Vitamin B12 was 518, it's now up to 594. Uh, and anywhere between 211 and 911 is good. So happy with vitamin B12. Testosterone, so there's a whole video on this, so I'm not gonna uh, dwell on this too long. It was 600 more or less, and it's now 796. And that is the same testosterone level as someone who's between the ages 16 and 21. And if you haven't seen it, I go into a little bit more detail about this uh, in the standalone video on testosterone of a teenager. Iron, uh, my iron numbers, again, all within reference range, so nothing, as far as I'm concerned, to worry about there. Homocysteine wasn't checked last time, but was this time. And that's only because the last time I had this blood test done, um, it was the um, silver um, standard that I got. This time I got the gold, so they test uh, a few more things. So non-applicable in that it wasn't included and now it is and it's within reference range um crp uh if you get a high crp number this this relates to high inflammation in the body um and it can be used to find people at risk of heart disease or stroke so ldl levels are high people say that you're you're more chance to get heart disease my ldl level ldl level is high but if you compare it to the this one, which could be less than three, and mine is 0 0.2, that indicates um, that I'm not at risk for heart disease or stroke. Um, so happy with that. Lipoprotein A wasn't tested in the silver, is in the gold, 3.6, and it should be less than 30. So there's well within there. Uh, this one is something that you can't change through lifestyle and mostly supplementation. It's actually uh, affected by your genes. So if you have a high number, it's, it's genetic. Um, apiloprotein, and you've got uh, A1 and you've got B and you've got the APOB and A1 ratio. The B is high and it says if B is high, you've got a greater risk for cardiovascular disease. So that kind of links in with a high LDL. But then if you go to lipid.org, they say a, a diet lower in carbohydrates and higher in protein and monounsaturated fat may decrease APOB and reduce, reduce the risk for coronary heart disease. So they're saying I should lower the carbohydrates and take in a higher protein. So is that animal protein? Um, because if it's protein that comes from plants, then it's going to have um, higher carbohydrates as well. So that kind of goes against the eat a vegan diet and your LDL levels will go down. Uh, it also appears that the ratio of APOA and B is a greater indicator of cardiovascular disease. disease and my ratio is 0 0.9 and that's well within the range. 
So the one that shows you the greatest um, or has the greatest indicator of cardiovascular disease, I am within the range there. So again, I'm happy with that. And as I say, if you think I'm really missing the mark by saying that, then please let me know in the comments below. Uh, my amylase, which uh, may indicate, indicate pancreatic issues, uh, is 60.95, and it should be between 28 and 100, so that's within range, so I'm happy with that. Lipase, um, mine is low. It should be between 11 and 82, so I'm at 10, so I'm only one out, which isn't too bad. Um, it may indicate damage to the cells in the pancreas. Um, and it says here, if the lipase levels are not normal, it doesn't necessarily mean you have a medical condition, a medical condition needing uh, treatment. And these are statements that were taken from the um, from the actual report that I got back from the from the clinic. So I will show this to my doctor when I get my um, contract medical at the beginning of the next year uh, and see if she's got anything to say about this. Fructose, and this is a useful screening for uh, diabetes. Mine is 191, and it should be less than 286, so that's uh, that's well within the reference range, so I'm happy with that. Blood ketones, mine's 1.20, and the reference range is 0 0.21 to 2.81, and again, that is uh, well within reference range, so I'm happy with the blood ketones. That was one that wasn't included in the silver test. Whole blood, um, the whole blood that I've got there, everything was okay last time. This time, the only thing that's slightly different is the mean corpuscle hemoglobin score. Uh, and it says possible lack of iron. But when I look at my iron scores, my iron scores are fine. Uh, and it should be 32 to 36 and mine's 31.7. So only 0.3 out uh, with regard to that score. And again, I'll I'll be mentioning this to my doctor uh, in January. Whole blood, this time no issues at all, all within the reference range. Um, that was zero point eight, and it should be at least one, so it was low, uh, and it's now one point nine, so that's that's good. Urine analysis, nothing of any note last time, nothing of any note this time. Um, the only thing I did notice was it said color yellow and yellow again. Um, and at the time of taking this test, I normally fasted between 12 and 14 hours. So I'm not sure what color they expected to be when you haven't drunk water for, for 12 to 14 hours. But um, it said it should be pale yellow. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, my EGFR rate, which is something that Holly on um, the DIY channel uh, normally talks about mine 75 which is low uh, and 60 to 89 shows mild decrease so I'm not particularly sure exactly what that means um, but I will I will check it out so that's it for the blood test results well I hope you found that interesting or informative hopefully both uh, pretty unremarkable apart from the testosterone um, levels uh, that said if there's any numbers in there that you think I should be concerned about and I should approach a medical professional about um, sooner rather than later then I'll be very interested to know what your comments are uh, as you know my ideal um, dose of NMN according to Rhonda Patrick who talks about 24 milligrams per kilo of body weight for me uh, would put me at 2.2 grams of NMN a day so I will be ramping up to that in the near future um, what I do want to do is take a blood test before I do that and then up to two grams a day. If anything happens which is um, which is untoward, I will stop and I will come back to 1.5. If there's not, then I'll be taking another blood test after three months. Um, mainly because of the testosterone levels and also I think blood tests a year apart is too far. I will probably be doing these blood tests every three months, um, which is... If, I, if I'm right is what David St. Clair said he does in a, in a recent tweet. Um, I will check my blood levels every three months to, to make sure that everything is, is as normal and nothing is vastly out of the reference range, especially when I ramp up to two grams a day. 
Uh, well, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, as always, please take care. I'll see you soon and bye for now.